Hey guys, we're gonna talk about how to take a React Native app and deploy it to the Apple Store or the Google Play Store. So we're gonna take our stack calculator and put it on both of these stores. So the first thing you have to do if you want to put your application, uh, whether or not it's React Native, is create an Apple developer account or create a Google Play uh, developer account. Here's Apple's. It costs a hundred dollars every year uh, to just to be have an active membership. Whereas Google, Google doesn't really have a landing page for theirs. You just come over here to this Google Play console and you can log in with your Gmail or your Google account. Um, and there's a lot more reasonably priced. Only twenty five dollars uh, one time fee to be able to put your app on the App Store. So this is different than Expo. Expo is free, and you can just put it up there. Um, these guys uh, make you cost money. But the difference is um, with Expo, that's running on your f uh, through the Expo app, right? Whereas this will be an actual separate app on your phone. And this is where most people don't know about Expo. Everyone knows about Apple or Google, so you want to make sure to put it on these stores. Now I'm not sure why Apple is uh, more expensive. It could be because they do their stuff slightly differently. Um, Google Play has it automated when you uh, deploy your application or your app. Uh, they have a bot that checks your code to make sure nothing's malicious and then they uh, you know, put it on the App Store so everyone can use it. Whereas Apple actually has people that will review uh, the code and make sure it's okay before actually putting it on the store. Uh, I don't know what else they review. I just know there's a review system that takes a couple weeks, whereas uh, Google's can take just like a couple hours to get on the App Store. So it takes actually longer to get into the Apple Store than it does to the Google Store. But let's look at how, once we have an account set up, we can actually uh, build our code and put it on here. Because once you make an account, you can create like a store listing, and then somehow you need to put your, you know, bring your code. And the way you do that is, uh, running a simple command, Expo makes it really easy, or Create React Native App makes it really easy uh, to do this. But we need to make a little change to our app.json file, um, and we just need to add two things. Well, I guess three things. The first is the version. So you're going to start at maybe 1.0 or something, and every time you uh, release a new APK, uh, that's the Android version, so we're going to be creating basically a uh, bundle for your uh, code is called APK for Android and I forget what it's called for iOS maybe IPA or something like that um, but it needs to have a version associated to it and then when you if you cr ever create a new APK um, or version for iOS you want to just increment this number here um, in any way so this is using it looks like Simber um, if you're not familiar with that Simber this is how you can um, version your code version as in uh, you know or release new versions of it uh, I recommend taking a look at this if you've never heard of it before so uh, you can use the same thing here I'm gonna use 1.0 for our first release and iOS and Android have this thing where you have basically a little uh, identifier associated with each one with iOS it's called bundle identifier with Android it's packaged so you need both of these and by the way icon and name are required so you need to have those um, but notice how you build this so here I put my name this is generally where you want your company name or uh, you know your you could put your name too and notice how this is different uh, or backwards both of these are com .binawad. and then here's the name of the application I'm going to call it stack calculator makes sense um, and so this is going to be the identifier in the store as well uh, okay, so once you have that, it's very easy. All you do is run expo build Android or expo build iOS. Now, I currently don't have a uh, iOS account, uh, but I will, or an Apple account, which I will be uh, setting up in a little bit. So it'll take a little longer to get that on the store anyway. But uh, I have a Google Play account uh, already, so I'm going to go ahead and build mine with Android. Now, uh, when you run this, I'm not going to run it right now because it takes a little while. But when you build it, what's going to happen is going to ask you if you'd like to sign your own 
thing. If you have no idea what it's talking about, I recommend just as they as they say, let them sign it for you. And then they'll get you a link at the very bottom. So you'll click on the link and then you can go download your what's called an APK file. They'll give you at least with Android. And then uh, you don't even need to actually have your Play Store account set up before you set up the APK. But once you have that APK, um, when you'll set up your Google Play listing, you set up your account, you can create an app, and then you'll drag that APK file actually into uh, Google Play and they'll know how to handle that and that'll be the code that's run. Now with iOS, if you do build iOS, this is going to require you to uh, log into your Apple account and have that all uh, already configured which uh, I don't have configured right now. I'm going to set up an Apple account later in the future. I'll make a update video to this later when I have uh, my Apple account updated. But yeah, that's all it is. This is quite, it's actually quite easy to bundle the code. You just run uh, Expo and then build Android or build iOS. And you should have this EXP thing that I'm running in front of this. If you already uh, went to the Expo store, remember how we ran Expo Publish? Now the cool thing about this is when we do this build, let's say I make a code change like in my app.js over here, uh, or in my, well we don't have any code there really, in my main over here, let's say I instead of this color I want to make it blue, I just do expo publish and it'll automatically update Android and iOS devices uh, for me and they don't even, users don't even have to go back to the Play Store and update. It uh, sends updates over the internet which is super cool. So I just publish a new version and it's good to go. But yeah, so steps, set up an account with one of whichever one you want, and then make sure your app.json over here has the things I talk about, name, icon, version, and then the identifiers for iOS and Android. You know, if you're doing iOS, put the iOS on Android. If you want both, you can add both. And then just run expo uh, build uh, of your environment that you want and then upload that when you're actually setting up the thing in the app store. So that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching.